Hey there, I'm Jake. I'm Kay. And this is JK Watch, and today we're reacting to a trailer. For Solo, a Star Wars story. Yes, this is the Solo, a Star Wars story official trailer that came out just a couple days ago. I saw it. <laughs> and I haven't seen it yet, so I get, I get to see it now. You're getting the best of both worlds. Someone who's seen on it second viewing and the first viewing. Yes, so this should be uh, this should be cool. I've heard. Have I heard things about this? <laughs> Tell me what I've heard about this. Some people are calling it the Lando trailer. Oh, because it has a lot of Lando, aka Donald Glover, aka Troy, aka the creator of Atlanta. Man, that guy's done a lot of stuff. Yeah, and he was just in uh, Spider-Man Homecoming. Oh, yeah. We were yeah. watching that the other night. He was the, the petty crook. Yeah. Yeah. Some favorite lines. Uh, I don't want to blast them back into time. <laughs> I just want to stick them up, yeah. And uh, yeah. I like bread. Yeah, I like bread. Yeah. Anyway. Let's watch. Shall we watch it? Let's watch. Let's do it. Star Destroyer being built. You're off to something. Is it revenge? Money? Or is it something else? You look Fame. Good. A little rough around the edges, but good. Khaleesi. Heard about yep. a job. Big shot gangster putting together crew. Ooh, Bethany. I'm a driver. He's I'm double versing it. I waited a long time for a shot like this. What do you think? Uh, well, what do you know? You got a line on a ship? Yeah, I know a guy. He's the best smuggler around. I heard a story about Ooh, you. I was Lando. wondering if it's true. Everything you heard about me is true. <laughs> so smooth. Let's go with the mean man's face. Who are these guys? If you come with us, so clean. you're in this life for good. You might wanna buckle up, baby. Here they come! Let me give you some advice. Ooh, Assume train. everyone will betray you. And you will never be disappointed. I got a really good feeling about this. Since when do you know how to fly? 190 years old? You look great. Push it! Solo! Wow. It's epic. I see an epic train sequence in there. Those are always good. Yep. <laughs> Almost uh, old school, western y, because there's always like a train heist. Yeah, definitely. Fits that Wild West mentality. Mm hmm. Oh, man. That's the guy from. You remember the movie we saw him in? Oh, Beautiful Creatures? Yeah. Or where it's it... like, she's a witch. Yeah. And he's like, the southern boy in love with the witch. That, that he was good in that because that's not a movie that I would like, but I like watching that movie because yeah, they're kind of believable in that, even though it's like very like southern soap opera. With well, they witches. were all like super southern characters, but they were all played played by like British people. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Jeremy and, Irons is in the mix. Yep, Emma Thompson. Mm. Emmy Rossum. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was... Viola yeah. Davis was in that movie. Yeah. So he's got chops because he can hang with Viola Davis. What that's, do you think? Uh, that's cool. That's cool. That's right. That's Lando's ship. Forgot that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's got his, his falcon. I almost feel like he's saying that line like everything uh, you've heard about me is true. It's like that's true for the character and also Donald Glover. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you about how Deadpool didn't happen in the animated series. <laughs> because I got beef. 
So yeah. Yeah. Pretty good. Uh, it looks like it's just gonna be fun, and that's great. Yeah. It's like, I mean, Rogue One, I think, was one of the better. I mean, they're all good. I I enjoy them all. I'm not super critical of this new Star Wars stuff, but I thought Rogue One. Was... I mean, for me, as a person who wasn't obsessed with the original trilogy, and then was kind of my way in to Star Wars was like the prequel trilogy mm-hmm. and just the backlash and like the nerd hate surrounding that like really like off put me yeah. on like the whole Star Wars thing. So for me, all these new movies from like Force Awakens on have been my entry into like, oh, this Star Wars world is actually kind of a cool, awesome, yeah. you know, story universe type thing. Because all the other stuff before that, I was just like, mm, there's a bunch of guys around here who are like either really, really mad or just like really happy for a second until they get into an argument over yeah. something that makes them really, really mad. Oh, it's funny. I think the internet has like come back around on the prequels in a big way. That There's like a huge support. I, I think it's has a lot to do with the fact that there are now new movies to dislike if you are like a nerd rager. <laughs> And people just need something that, like, hmm, I hate this so much. The prequels weren't that bad after all. And it's just oh. like, ah, just whatever. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard to tell how much of the hate is ironic and how much isn't at this point. Or how much is it? Is it just like dude entitlement of like, this is mine. This will always be for me. And then you have like women and ethnic people being like, oh, we like this too. And they're like, no. Yeah. You can't be a part of it. It's only mine. But this just looks really fun, and I will watch the heck out of it in theaters because it seems like the perfect kind of a theater movie. Um, yeah. When you don't see a ton of theater movies anymore. Feel free to subscribe to JK Watch. That's right. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. every Friday. Yes. That's right. Our reaction series. Uh, catch you all next time. Bye. Bye.